Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to edit wildlife pictures in Lightroom in just about 5 minutes from the very start to the finished and fully edited picture. So the first thing you want to do if it's needed is to crop the picture and here you see there's just a little bit of this tree stump, doesn't really work so let's get that out. And also oftentimes if you have a very close up of a picture just like this, you want to kind of have less space on the back of the picture and more on the area where the animal is looking at or where it's facing because it just works a lot better, it uh, is much more pleasing and of course if you have a little bit too much headroom you can crop that down as well. So already a lot more focused on the actual animal with a lot less distractions and I think that's a really nice starting base. Then the next thing I'd really like to do is bring down the highlights by quite a bit uh, so I can bring up the whites and that way you really get some nice dynamic, looks a lot better from you know the standard look to the after look, just emphasizes everything a little bit more. And an another thing that I really like to do is to bring up the blacks and that way you get the relatively neutral, maybe almost a kind of washed out look but that way you could really can bring the contrast quite far to the right and that way you get a nice punch and if I would show you by resetting the blacks it just becomes a bit too dark for my taste so it's a really a nice uh, way to use this contrast slider as much as you can while not making anything too much or too dark. Then and shadows don't really have too big of an impact in most wildlife pictures. Here it's really just the background which is the effects and I'm actually gonna raise that because I think it looks a bit more natural if the background isn't that dark. But generally speaking I don't think that the shadows have that big of an impact in the actual animals. Clarity is a very difficult thing, you know, uh, you can go both ways really but if you have a very hairy or a furry kind of picture just like this one where you actually see the structure of the hair then it is a good idea to just go into the plus clarity uh, once again you don't want to overdo that otherwise it just becomes a bit too unnatural looking but if you go around 30 to maybe even 50 it can really bring out that structure in the hair and in any other fine structures and details you might have in your picture so really nice to pronounce everything make everything look a little bit more crisp and sharp. Then vibrance and saturation. Now since you have a raw file uh, which makes the picture by default look relatively neutral it might be worth to go a bit into the plus vibrance but I really wouldn't go too far especially in a relatively neutral picture just as this one. Then color temperature is a very important thing and here you know it depends from picture to picture but uh, you definitely want to make sure that you have the right color temperature temperature and don't have it look something like this. Um, the only thing that I would tell you here is don't necessarily go for the neutral white tones. Uh, if that, if a little bit of a warmer tone looks better to you then just stick there. So that's in fact what I'm gonna do here. So I think I'm pretty much done with the basics adjustments and the only other global adjustment that I'm gonna do will be the tonal curve. A thing that I really like to do here is bring up the highlights and that way you re increase the dynamic range even more and the highlight slider in the tonal curve really just affects the very bright parts unlike the highlights up here in the basics adjustments which really affects the overall and very broad bright areas. Then the rest of the slider is it's really play around with them it's very different from picture to picture and there's really nothing I could tell you here. So let me finish up with this and I think that looks pretty good and you know there are so many other adjustments that you could utilize but since this is a five minute edit and I assume you want to edit the picture in five minutes from start to finish I'm only gonna go to the detail tool as a last global adjustment and here you just want to make sure that you zoom in one to one and uh, first thing you just want to bring the color slider to the right by quite a bit and what this will do is get rid of the purple and green sensor noise which makes your picture look a lot more clean and a lot better overall. So from before 
to after. Then noise reduction, um, I really don't like the tool overall, but especially if you have a wildlife picture, you see the background is relatively noisy, but the actual animal isn't really, so if you were to bring the noise reduction to the right, look at all this hair, you just lose so much detail, so much sharpness, so unless you have a super noisy picture, I wouldn't even worry about that. And I'm gonna add some local noise reduction in a second, but before I do that, I wanna just add some sharpness, and sharpness is really a great thing to get the most detail, most sharpness of course out of your picture, and generally speaking I like to go around 50 to maybe 70, if you have a super sharp lens then you might want to go a little bit less than that, but I think 50 actually works pretty well here. Then once you've added sharpness just zoom out again, um, hold down the masking slider, hold down the alt key as well, and bring the masking slider to the right and that way you will get the sharpening mask with everything that is white is going to be sharpened and everything that is black is not going to be sharpened. So if you have for example an out of focus background or a lake or anything that doesn't really have any texture in it, maybe a bird in the sky, then you really want to make sure that you don't sharpen too much of the background because if there's no texture to be sharpened then it will just introduce noise. So I'm done here with the global adjustments and now I'm gonna go into the local adjustments and you know in wildlife pictures, especially if it's just a close-up of the actual photo without any landscape in it, there's not too much that I personally do to my photos. Uh, one thing that you can do is just grab a graduated filter, of course, make sure you reset everything before you do that and go into the minus exposure with one side and then grab another one in pretty much parallel and go a little bit into the plus exposure with the other side and you know depending on the picture that might work that might not work uh, but generally you just increase the dynamic from dark to bright and you kind of complexify the light so from before to after I think it works a bit better but you know not a huge difference and then the last thing as I said before there's just a lot of noise in the background but not in the overall picture not in the actual animal so instead of just raising the global noise reduction tool I'm gonna grab an adjustment brush here once again reset this color go into the plus noise by quite a bit because there's not really any texture in the background anyway ways so you don't really have to worry about losing any sharpness or detail and then just brush over the areas that you want to reduce your noise in. I'm gonna press down the O key right here so you see the mask and you know you want to take uh, maybe a little bit more time than I'm doing right here and maybe even zoom in one to one by the way you can press down the alt key and you get the minus adjustment brush in case you've spilled over on some part but yeah, once again, it's very rough, but you get the idea, and as I zoom in here, it's just a lot cleaner. I could go even further with that noise reduction and bring it all the way to 100, and that way we get really a lot better looking uh, background with a lot less noise compared from before to after. And if that's still not enough, you can of course just right click and duplicate um, and maybe that looks even better. Yeah, I am done here for this photo. Let's zoom out again and show you the before and after. And you know, depending on your liking, you might not want to go quite as far into the plus clarity. Uh, but generally speaking, I think it looks a lot more pronounced, a lot more interesting than before. And especially if you look at the detail, it's definitely a lot stronger and a lot more prominent. So thank you as always very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.